Hi guys, Eric here. Today I'm going to show you a simple way of creating flyers on your iPad using Google Slides. Google Slides is part of the Google suite of apps that comprise of Google Slides and Google Sheets and Google Docs. You can see them on the top of my screen here. And Slides is primarily used for a page layout. I'm sorry, <laughs> a slideshow program, but it can also be used as a page layout tool. So um, that's what we're going to do today. But here's the killer um, point though. Before you even begin doing this on your iPad, uh, unfortunately Google Slides on the iPad, the app does not have a custom page setup option where you can choose custom page sizes to create your blank 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So before you even do this, you need to go to a computer unfortunately and then go to Google Slide from there and create a new document a new Google slide and go to the file menu and choose custom page setup and and type in eight and a half by eleven and save it as a template then you can go back to your iPad so I've already done that so when I open up Google slides you'll see I have um, blank eight and a half by eleven tall has already created the first one on my screen here. So if I tap on that, here it's going to open up a blank 8.5 by 11 document. So what I do, the first thing I do is I create a copy of this. And the way you make a copy is by tapping on the upper right menu of the three dots. That's the More menu. And from here, you choose Share and Export. And the very last command is Make a Copy that's where that command is found under share and export kind of awkward isn't it so it's now making a copy and now just the title in the upper left corner says copy of, of a blank eight and a half by eleven inch tall so now I'm working on a copy uh, actually if you want to change the name of this document you click on that top menu again the three dots in the upper right and you see where it says shows the name on the top big lettering copy of blank you simply tap on that and that's how you rename a document so I'm gonna call this tests flyer and I tap on rename and notice the top left now says test flyer so we're ready to begin so before just like any page layout program the first thing you need to do is collect your assets you gotta gather your images you gotta gather your text and then put it together so for today's quick demo, I'm going to jump out and I'm going to bring up a website and we're going to um, copy this web page. This is a page of a company called BFI. They are a Herman Miller office furniture dealer in New Jersey who I do all their marketing for. So let's, um, let's pretend that I wanted to create a flyer about this company. So I need to collect the assets. Uh, so for the graphic here, unfortunately, the way this website was put together, I cannot easily click and tap and, and get that background image. So I'm going to search the web and, and just pick out another image to use. So in my web browser in Safari, I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Herman Miller Furniture. And hit go. And I'm going to tap the images. And what you want to do is you want to find a nice large size image that will scale nicely. And um, and the bigger image, generally, the better. So it'll print nice. And I see one I like. This one up near right here. That looks really nice. Um, so what I want to do. To save it, I just tap on the image so I can get the full image. And then you can tap and hold until the menu pops up, and I could choose Save Image. What that does is it saves the graphic down into your iPad into the default Photos app. So if I open up Photos, there it is in my camera roll. There's the graphic. Okay, so I got the graphic, and now I need the text. So let's go back to that website and here it is and let's select text you just tap and hold 
drag down the text. You can actually use two fingers to help you. And once that's done, tap on copy. And now I can double tap on the home button on my iPad and switch quickly to the slides program. And I'm ready to begin building. So the plus sign in the top right menu, if I tap on that plus sign, that's the insert command and I can choose insert image. Let's tap on image and I'm going to take it from photos, which is on my iPad. And here's my gallery and here's that picture. Boom. There it is. So I can move it and notice the guide. The guides are great in this program. It shows me that that graphic is now perfectly centered on the page. And I could bring it down a little bit. And let's suppose I wanted to crop that, get some of that ceiling off. Um, it's got the cropping tool. It's simply by double tapping on the graphic. And now I can drag down from that center black bar and make the ceiling a little less better. And I just move that right back up. Better. And now I want to insert a text box. So you hit the plus sign again and you choose text. Tap text. There's my text box. I could double tap in there and choose paste. Remember I just copied that before? And there's the text. And I could resize the text box just by dragging the handles. I could move the text box by dragging anywhere but a handle. And again, notice the alignment guides that help me. And from here, I can click on the A in the upper on the top tool menu to change the font and the size. So this is a printed document, so we can go way down on the font size. And we're going to change the font. Let's choose something modern and clean like Helvetica New. It's really nice. And then I can go back and change the paragraph. And let's open up the letting, the line spacing. That looks nice. OK. And then let's say I want to move that over up a little bit too much. OK, good enough. Yep, that's better. Fine. Actually, no, so I don't like it. I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to drop it down to 10 points. And 10 point font is plenty for, it's plenty readable when it's printed, trust me. So you got that. So again, I'm going to go double tap on the home button to go back to the website. Oops. And we're going to grab the text on the left. And notice you can zoom in, tap and hold, drag the text, choose copy, double tap the home button, back to slides, hit the plus button again, tap on the text box again, double tap in it, hit paste, resize that text box, and drag it into position. Again, notice the guides that help me, tells me that I'm aligned to the left and I'm aligned to the top of that other text box. So I'm good to go right there shape it and again hit the text the font button in the upper right and let's make this a little bit bigger that's fine there and let's double tap to edit the about bfi and let's make that font size just even a little bit bigger there very nice so that's starting to shape up and let's just do um, let's put their logo in here. Plus sign, image from photos, and I know I have their logo. There it is. Let's use that. And I can scale a graphic by clicking and dragging on the right corner and do it, do it carefully so it goes proportionally. And let's go some more. And let's bring it into position. Bump. And let's just bring it down. And make it smaller. So that's not too bad. So I think I like it. It's good enough for now. Okay, so you can see how nice I laid out this brochure, this little flyer, in a matter of minutes on my iPad. Really nice. And if you were to print this on an inkjet color printer in your, in your office or a color laser printer, it'll come out beautiful. Trust me. I do it all the time. What's also great is you can convert this to a PDF and email to your um, clients. So to quickly show you how to do that, you would click on the three buttons in the upper right, and you would choose Share and Export. 
and notice there are there's the print command right there by the way but the one right above the print menu is send a copy if I tap on that you notice that it defaults to PDF it'll automatically create a PDF of this document if you tap OK from here I can do lots of things I can choose to um, print it notice the print button down there I can save it to Dropbox I could save it to uh, to Google Drive or anywhere I want several different apps but I can also email it so if I tapped on that the document gets automatically attached to an email I could change the subject of the email and then I could uh, even write a quick note here and, I, and simply address it and send it and that's how you send and create and send a flyer on your iPad in a matter of minutes wasn't that great? So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. If you have any questions, put a question in the comments box. And don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos. I'll be showing how to do um, flyers in different apps as well. So this was the first of a few to come. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you and I'll see you on the next one.